वेलकम एवरी वन टू अवर चैनल मैथमेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज एनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सी एस आई यू जी सी नेट जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री द क्वेश्चन आई डी सेवन जीरो फोर जीरो एट फोर दिस इज एनदर एबसट्रैक्ट एल जेब्रा प्रॉब्लम सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट लेट जी बी ए ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हुच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू G is an abelian group. G is a cyclic group. G is a simple group. G is not a simple group. You all know very well the definition of abelian group and cyclic group, and also simple group. A group is said to be simple if it has no non-trivial normal subgroup. So, if we can show that there is uh, exactly sorry, there is at least one non-trivial normal subgroup, then G will be G uh, G will not be a simple group. So, let us first study the about the order of the group. So, see here our order of G is two thousand twenty three. So, let us try to write this two thousand twenty three in That form p to the power r into m. That form p to the power r into m, where p is a prime, m is a positive integer, r is a non-negative integer, and this is the p m equal to one in that form. So this is very easy to see that this is actually will be seven into two eighty nine. That is equal to seven into seventeen square. So now uh, consider Silo's third theorem. To check the simplicity of a group, we must study Silo's third theorem. Silo's all Silo's theorem, Silo's first, second, third theorem. So Silo's third theorem says that the number of c here, when we are considering this seven as p and this seventeen square as uh, m, so then we will consider this. Silo P subgroup. So here Silo seven subgroup. So then here now number of Silo seven subgroup subgroup is denoted by n seven, and that is actually our one plus seven k. Silo third theorem says that the number of Silo P subgroups is equal to one plus p k, where this uh, n p uh, divides order of G. So here this n seven one plus seven k should divide. Two thousand twenty-three. So actually, this n seven will divide this other term seventeen square because this does not divide the seven. So now calculate that uh, which case are may be here. So see if we take k equal to zero, then our n seven equal to one. That is one option. And if we take k equal to one, then it is eight. We will not divide seventeen square. And if we take k equal to two, three, four, any other option, uh, for in any k not equal to zero, this n seven will not divide this seventeen square. Just verify this. This is a very easy exercise. So this k must be zero and this n seven must be one. So this implies that there is exactly one. Exactly one, exactly one silo seven subgroup. Exactly one silo seven subgroup. Say H is that. Say that is H, and we have a theorem that a silo p subgroup. Uh, if H is a silo p, uh, if uh, H is a silo p subgroup, then if H is the Unique silo p subgroup, if and only if it is normal subgroup. So, since here this uh, exactly one silo seven subgroup, so H is only silo p subgroup, and hence this H is normal. And also we know that the order of silo p subgroup is p to the power r. So here our order of H is equal to p to the power one, that is seven to the power one seven. So this is clear that G has exactly one silo 
seven subgroup and which is a normal subgroup non trivial normal subgroup so g would not be a simple group option 3 is not correct and g is not a simple group option 4 is a correct option now consider this like 17 square into 7 in this form that is this p to the power r into m so here our p is 17 so consider how much silo 17 subgroup so that is denoted by n 17 num number of silo 17 subgroup and that will be 1 plus 17 k where this n 7 will divide order of g and also this should divide 7 only because this 17 square will not be divided by 1 plus 17 k so uh, here also we have to find all such k's are possible so if k equal to 0 then n 17 equal to 1 and if we put k equal to 1 then it is 18 we will exit 7 so no such other k possible such that n 17 will divide this 7 this this um, order of g so this k is 0 and n 17 is 1 that means there exist exactly one exactly one silo 17 sub say this subgroup is denoted by k here also k is a unique silo of subgroup and hence k is a normal subgroup by that result and also order of k is equal to p to the power r here 17 square now this is very easy to check this h intersection k will be singleton e because if h intersection k will not be e say something so that is a subgroup of h as well as subgroup of k do so this order h intersection k order of this should divide 7 and also 7 square but the gcd of these two elements is 1 so this must be equal to 1 and hence h intersection k equal to singleton e so now calculate this calculate this h k this subset order of this subset h k equal to we have a well known result this is equal to order of h into order of k by order of h intersection k so this is equal to our order of h into order of k because the denominator is 1 so this is equal to 7 into 17 square so this is equal to our 2023 that is equal to order of g so we have g equal to hk number 1 number 2 we have hk both are normal subgroup of g both are normal subgroup of g and number 3 we have h intersection k equal to singleton e and this three together imply that g is the internal direct product internal direct product of h and k h and k and also there is a very important result that if g is the internal direct product of h and k then g is isomorphic then g is isomorphic to the external direct product of h and k h cross k so now here our order of h equal to 7 so uh, order is p and every group of prime order is cyclic so h is a cyclic group of order 7 and we know that that group is unique because any finite cyclic group of order n is isomorphic to zn this is the important result in abstract algebra in cyclic uh, isomorphism chapter so uh, this h is isomorphic to our z7 and also this k is a group of order 17 square and that is also well known result that every group of order p square is abelian so this k is abelian and also we can classify all such abelian groups of any order so since this is a group of order 17 square this is very easy to classify all such groups uh, all such groups k 
because there is a uh, there is only two partitions of two one is two plus zero and one is one plus one so for the partition two plus zero this k is actually equal to or isomorphic to j 17 square that means j 289 and for this partition 1 plus 1 k will be isomorphic to j uh, j 17 direct sum j 17 so one group can be found corresponding to one partition of that p to the power r that r so this is very easy to see by this classification that there are uh, exactly two abelian groups of order uh, 17 square so this k can be isomorphic to this k can be actually z289 and also this k can be z17 direct sum z17 z17 direct sum z17 so this g so the option of g is will be number 1 h is fixed, h is our z7 and k have two options. So if we take k equal to z289, so then our g will be isomorphic to, g will be isomorphic to direct product h cross k. So h is z7, z7 and k is z289. So this is z7 direct sum z289 and since there is also a result that when this order of uh, Zn direct sum Zm will be isomorphic to Zmn if GCD even equal to 1. So here GCD 7, 289 equal to 1. So this is isomorphic to Z2023 2023. Since this GCD 7, 289 will be equal to 1. So this is one option for G. G may be this group. And also there is another option for G, G may be this group, H is our Z7 and K is our second option that is Z17, direct sum Z17 and see first from first two option that Z7, direct sum Z17, this 7 and 17 are prime to each other so this will be Z119 M into N, direct sum this Z17. Now this 17 and this 119 will not be prime to each other. So this is another option for G. So G have two options and there are exactly two subgroups of order 2023. Number one is J2023 then G will be cyclic and number two G will be another option. J, G will be isomorphic to J119 direct sum J17. And in this case, G is abelian but not cyclic. So now let us go to the problem. See here. So G is an abelian group. In each case, G is an abelian group because there are two options and two, two options we have studied. We have find all such options for G. So in any case, G is abelian group. So option one is correct option. And number two, G is a cyclic group. In first case, G is cyclic, but in second case, G is not cyclic. So there, there is a group of order 2023, which is not cyclic. So option two is not true in general. So here option one and option four is the correct option. Okay, we will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.